On August 6th this year, Columbia City Council took a very important step forward, um, a step towards equality and, and fairness, uh, um, a step towards uh, opportunity by uh, passing unanimously uh, our city's ban the box ordinance. This ordinance requires the city of Columbia uh, to eliminate questions uh, pertaining to a job app applicant's uh, prior criminal record uh, from the application and interview process. Uh, we know that a, um, a large number of formerly incarcerated uh, individuals remain unemployed for years after release. Uh, data shows us that very clearly, oftentimes struggling to provide for the most basic needs for themselves and for their families. Uh, the data is quite compelling, showing that as you look across the country, that, that, that those who may have uh, criminal records uh, are, are equal in the number of those who actually have college degrees. So we're talking about a significant, powerful opportunity to dramatically change the trajectory of the American workforce and create opportunities for all of our citizens. Uh, this ordinance gives, uh, gives people a fair shot at being gainfully employed, getting their lives back on track, and contributing to the whole of the community. Uh, Columbia is the first in the state to pass a ban the box ordinance, and I'm encouraging other cities and municipalities and counties and businesses across this great state uh, to pass similar ordinances. Our ordinance is also drafted to strongly encourage, uh, and in some cases compel, those who do business with the city to also live within the values of the city by, uh, by passing mm -hmm such a policy internally. Uh, another vital piece of this ordinance is a prohibition on inquiries into an applicant's wage history. Uh, we know that the, ga the wage gap is real, particularly as it relates to our female citizens all across this country. Women, uh, and women of color in particular, are paid dramatically less for doing the same work that men do. Uh, and finding a way to systemically eliminate uh, that disparity is something that's very important uh, for us, and uh, quite frankly, we don't care what you earned on your last job. Uh, we know that um, uh, what, what the job that you're applying for, what it should pay, and people ought to be paid accordingly, regardless of gender. Um, I really want to thank our, our city council for, uh, for the leadership. Uh, we have, as you may know, every uh, pot potential political position uh, from across the spectrum, from very progressive to very conservative represented on this council. And oftentimes we find ways to have great spirited debates over issues of significant Im importance. So unanimous vote from this council, I believe shows that Columbia is indeed uh, a city of the New South, a city of the 21st century. And I wanna thank uh, my colleagues, and certainly wanna thank all these incredible uh, volunteers, these wonderful community activists who are doing things not just here locally in Columbia, but also nationally and advancing uh, the ball downfield, taking important steps uh, for all of our citizens. Uh, I want to personally uh, thank uh, my friend Lester Young. Uh, he's a leader with Just Leadership USA um, who travels the country spreading the word on giving, uh, on the importance of giving uh, formerly incarcerated individuals a fair chance to, to, to earn a good life for themselves and their families right here in what we still believe to be the greatest democratic nation in the history of the world, the United States of America. I would say this, and I would just first and foremost give praise to Almighty God for blessing this moment, this opportunity, um, and blessing and placing in the hearts of everyone to see the need for this particular change. Also, I'd like to thank you personally, Mayor Benjamin, for, for seeing the need for this, you know, and seeing that we need to bring about some real systemic change in our community when it comes down to criminal justice and removing the barriers that are in place for those who are returning from prison. Uh, I just wanted to say I cannot, I always, I can't say I can't, but I remember me sitting in prison for serving life in prison, and I remember I would say, God, if you ever release me from this prison system that I promise and I will vow that I will return back into my community and use my leadership, use my skill sets to impact my community to the best of my ability. And it's been now five years since I've been home and I've been diligently and consistently striving to make that difference. And today is just one of those things that I'm really excited about and I'm standing behind, standing behind us is people that is going to really benefit from this opportunity. And to let everyone know that this is something that we will continue to push forward to. And I'm looking forward to moving into other counties, particularly Charleston, South Carolina, uh, 
Charleston, North Charleston, Greenville, Orangeburg, other counties that is going to really, hopefully we can set the tempo from this art ordinance to move forward in these other counties and bring about real change. So again, thank you guys. Thanks everyone for giving us this opportunity and making it possible for formerly incarcerated people to be and have an opportunity for employment after incarceration. Thank you. I am a, um, a huge believer in, in the fact that, uh, just being frank, I, I serve a God of second chances. How could we not be a city of second chances? And, and, we, and we believe uh, firmly that this just makes sense uh, uh, and, and addresses so many of our different needs as a, as a community. That's what um, I've, I've shared with our folks in, in Charleston and uh, hope to continue to, to, uh, to share with, with other policymakers, uh, many of whom look to Columbia to be a leader in, in some spaces. As you may know, we, we've stepped out in a number of thoughtful areas uh, trying to show, show people that um, even people with diverse political backgrounds uh, who look at the very same uh, issue thoughtfully, methodically, using data, uh, but you leave with your head and your heart, you can do the right thing. And, and, and this is the right thing, and hopefully we will be a leader uh, to other communities looking uh, to, to make this step forward. Hey there, Mayor Steve Benjamin here. Thanks for watching this video. Make sure you give it a like right below the video, and don't forget to subscribe. Also, while you're here, be sure to check out one of our other videos or follow on our social media platforms. Thanks again, and remember, we are Columbia.